hello welcome back to Einstein's mechanics and today we are also going to tackle integration which is a very interesting part of calculus integration so we are done with differentiation you can check through the episodes and you'll get the understanding what is integration then integration is the reverse process of differentiation so the reverse reverse differentiation very simple so if we differentiate we can reverse the equation by doing integration are we good so when we integrate we start with derivatives and find the expression from which it has been what derived so for example if i have f of x to be equal to say 2x square and this if i differentiate this expression dy on dx let's assume this is y then i'm going to get 4x are we good so now what if i'm told to get back the equation that gave me this derivative it's that place that we introduce what we call integration are we okay so now when i integrate the derivative it will send me back to the expression from which it has been what derivated are we good all right so integration is just the reverse form of integration so for example if i want to obtain this back then i will have to apply the integration which is denoted by this sign the integral sign are we okay so integral of this 4x so i am integrating with respect to what x so that will be with respect to x the same way we differentiate with respect to a variable here too we are going to differentiate with respect to a given term so here x and this is going to give me back my 2x square but plus a constant we will explain further why we got this constant are we good so in simple terms always when you integrate a function you are going to get back the original equation which gave you the derivative are we all right all right so let's look at the general form for integrating so the general form for an integral expression let's assume expression the form a x n and I'm integrating with respect to x. You can find why did I get this back? From what application did I get this? So this is the formula. If we're integrating, let's say this a corresponds to the 4, the x, and the n to the power, let's say 1, with respect to x. This is the rule. Now we apply this to get the derivative. n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus a constant are we okay so we are going to increase the power by 1 then divide by the power again so which is now n plus 1 and we are good to get the expression back plus a constant the reason we are using a constant because for example if i find the derivative of let's say y equal 4x plus 2 here i'm going to get dy dx to be equal to 4. so assuming i don't know this expression and i am they are, they've given me just the differential to find the integral i'm going to find integral of what 4 with respect to x and i'm going to get this function back which is what 4x but there should be this constant to make complete this equation so i don't know and i'll introduce my c so other parameters can be given to you to help you solve for c we'll try examples under that so this is the general equation for solving an integration what question just multiply here is the coefficient increase the power by one then you divide it by the power and you are good to go are we okay so let's try our hands on some examples so if we are given find the 
integral of 3x for dx, which will be equal to what? Meaning, an expression gave us this derivative, and we have to find the expression back. Following the equation, this is it. I'm going to increase the power of the x by 1. I'm, I will maintain the a. So this will be 3, the power, 4 plus 1, divide by the entire power, which is 4 plus 1, plus a constant c. We mostly denote the constant by what? c. And with this, it can be now 3x raised to the power 5 on what? On 5 plus c. Are we okay? Now, when you differentiate this, you are going to get this back. So let's see, 3 on 5, x raised to the power 5, find the derivative, is going to be 3x raised to the power 4. Are we okay? And there's this constant. The same way if we are to find the integral of 2 on x squared dx, which is supposed to be, we are, let me rewrite this in a better form. This is the same as 2 x raised to the power negative 2 dx are we okay and this is going to be i'll increase the power by one then divide it so 2x negative 2 plus 1 on negative 2 plus 1 plus c so to make this better i'm going to get 2x still negative 1 on this will be negative 1 plus what c and this negative is the same as negative 2 because this is just negative 1 over then this will come down x plus c are we okay so this is the derivative of that let's find another expression okay so if we are given another equation such as Equation 3, find the integral of, let's say, root of x with respect to x. How do we differentiate or integrate this? This is the same as, you, you have to always write it in a form which will be easy for you to integrate. So, I'll change this root to x raised to the power what? Half dx is that true yes so i can now move forward and integrate this going by the formula i will increase the power by one divided by all the power plus my c and with this i'm going to get one plus half which is going to be what three on two right so x three on two the same thing 3 on 2 plus c. If we further work on this, we are going to get x 3 on 2. This is divide, so I can multiply it and reciprocate it. 2 on 3 plus c, which is the same thing as 2 on 3x plus c. And a good mathematician will finally write the final answer as 2 on 3 on the square root of what? S cubed plus C. So this is the integral of this expression. Are we okay? That's the integral. Let's look at this. A question that says, determine I, which is equal to, so we have I equal to, 4s cubed dx given that our i is now equal to what 3 when x is 2 so we are to determine the integral of this given some initial what parameter this will help you find your constant so straight away let's look at what we will do so my i is given as integral of 4s cubed dx, which is the same as i. Applying the rule 4x, this will be 3 plus 1 
divided by 3 plus 1 plus C. Are we okay? So this, my I is going to be 4X4 4 4 on 4 plus C. And I is, this 4 will take care X4 plus C. So here, I'm giving some initial conditions to calculate for my C. I is 3 when X is equal to 2. So can I say 3 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4 plus C. And with that, my C is 3 minus 2 raised to the power 4. And with that, I'm getting C to be negative 13. So if this is my integral equation, can I then say that my I is equal to X raised to the power 4 plus, or the constant is negative 13. And this is my final solution. Are we okay? Very interesting. So I'm to solve this expression x square into bracket x square minus 1 on x square dx. Are we good? So I'm to integrate that. It becoming interesting. So here, this is the same as equal to integral of our multiply through, which is, so this by this will be x4 minus x square on x square or dx. That will be integral of x4 minus 1 with respect to x. So here I'm going to integrate this. But note that the integral of a plus b minus c is the same as, with, let's say dx is the same as integral of a plus integral of b minus integral of what? c. Everything, all of them with respect to what? x. So I'll apply the same knowledge here, which is going to be integral of x raised to the power 4 minus integral of what? 1. Let's say all of them by dx. So if I'm to integrate just this with the rule, I'm going to get x raised to the power 4 plus 1 on 4 plus 1. Are we okay? Then here too, I'm going to get minus, if you integrate a constant, you are going to get it in terms of what the variable you are integrating to. So let's say x, we will prove it. So here will be x. Are we okay? Remember here, we are getting a constant plus c1. Let's say here too, we are getting a constant plus c2 in this form. So my final answer is going to be x raised to the power 5 on 5, right, plus my c1 minus my x minus my c2. This c1 is a constant, this c2 is a constant. Since we don't know the constant, can we say let a big c becomes the constant which is the summation of constant 1 and constant 2. Therefore. My final answer is going to be x5 on 5. Then minus this x. These two constant add up to give me a single constant. Are we okay? Why are we saying the integral of a constant is just the variable we are integrating with respect to? Let's see if integral of 1 do we know that it is with respect to s raised to the power 0? Because any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So if I'm to apply the rule, I'm going to get 1 multiplying x 0 plus 1 on 0 plus 1, which is going to be 1 multiplying x 1 over 1. This can take care, giving me x raised to the power 1. Are we good? So it will come back to that the same thing if it is 2 
remember it is this one is multiplying so it is one the same way if it is integral of two we are going to get two x so this will be two x are we good so integral of 10 will be 10 x integral of 100 will be 100 x take into consideration all that so this is just the introduction to integration and the basic concept in integration we will solve many examples as we move forward and we'll be explaining it into what details but before then let's check out some basic or standard integrals where we are going to work with some standard integrals so one you jot them down so that you can use them so fast just as the differentiation where we went straight forward in integration to you can just for example do them straight forward without going through the formula so let's write down so integral of let's say a x n with respect to x this is the form and we saw that the formula is going to be a x n plus one on n plus one so that we get our plus c do you see any exception here yes because if n is if n is equal to negative one what happens here becomes negative one and here becomes negative one so this will become over zero which is not defined so our n should not be equal to what negative one are we okay so we use this formula for these are the simplest of all the integral signs or the integral questions two if we have integral of cos ax dx how do we get it trig function so this will be you differentiate here and you divide it so if you differentiate this you are going to get a so one over a and we saw that if you differentiate cos you are going to get what sine which is sine and you write your ax plus c Remember, we want an expression which was differentiated to get back this. And if we are applying the knowledge of the differentiation here, I will differentiate this, get that, then differentiate the whole course, get sine. But put it in mind that this is the integral of any sine or course in this form. Three, what of sine ax dx? that will also be a negative one on a cos ax plus c so in subsequent slides or episodes i'll just be quoting their final integrals so that you understand where they came from the fourth one let's see if we have integral of sec square ax dx it is also the same as 1 on a tan ax plus c this form are we good and 5 if i have integral of now i have sec square so cosec square ax dx it will be negative 1 on a cot ax plus c then what about exponential functions integral of an exponential function e raised to the power a x that's also going to give me one on a e a x plus c and lastly if i have integral of one on x dx that's going to give me len of x plus c so these are some basic integrals that you have to get them off head so that anytime we try to apply them you will just understand are we good thank you for watching this episode this is just an introduction watch out for the powerful sections in the next episode thank you